Welcome to Statics. Moment of a two-dimensional couple. I will introduce what a couple is in statics with an example. A single force on the handle of a double-handled wrench creates a moment about point O. The moment about point O can be calculated as the force F times the moment arm L. I can double the applied moment at point O by applying another force of the same magnitude but in the opposite direction on the opposite handle. These two forces form what we call a force couple, or shortened to a couple. The definition of a couple is two parallel forces that have the same magnitude, opposite directions, and are separated by a distance. If I define the perpendicular separation distance between my two forces as d equal to 2 times l, then the applied moment about point O can be calculated as the product of one of the forces times the perpendicular separation distance d. The equation we just developed will apply to any force couple. Note that the equation will yield a scalar result. The direction of the scalar moment is defined with a positive or negative sign determined by the right-hand rule. Apply it by imagining placing a pivot point in the middle of the two forces. Then imagine the directions the forces would rotate about the pivot point. In this example, the rotation would be counterclockwise, which is positive. So by the right-hand rule, the axis of rotation points out of the screen. For negative moments, the axis of rotation would point into the screen. Let's look at a few of the properties of a couple. I will use this gate valve wheel to aid in visualization. If I want to turn the wheel by applying forces as shown, I can use the couple equation to calculate the moment at point O. One force, 20 pounds, times the perpendicular separation distance, 16 inches, gives 320 pound inches in the positive direction. If I change the orientation of the applied forces, but keep them parallel and separated by the same distance, the magnitude of the moment does not change. Now here is a perhaps somewhat unexpected property. Watch what happens if I move the couple completely off the wheel. Now this doesn't have a physical explanation with this example, but bear with me. If I know where those forces are acting in space relative to point O, I can compute the moment about point O by breaking the forces into components and summing them up. I first get the moment contributed by the horizontal component of the force on the left times its vertical offset from point O. Note its negative direction by the right-hand rule. Then the vertical component of the force on the left times its horizontal offset from point O, also negative by the right-hand rule. Then, after finding the location of the right force, I can include its horizontal component times its vertical offset, positive by our convention, and last, the vertical component of the right force times its horizontal offset, also positive. Summing the terms, I get 320 pound inches, which is the same magnitude and direction we got when the forces were centered about point O. It turns out we will get the same value for the moment caused by this force couple about any point in space, not just point O. If these forces were somehow physically connected back to the wheel, then the wheel would rotate. In summary, we can state that the moment produced by a couple is equivalent to the sum of the moments of both couple forces computed about any arbitrary point in space. This property will allow us to simplify some of the problems we see in statics. For example, one application is that the moment from a force couple can be determined about any point, whatever is convenient. Often we'll select a point along the line of action of one of the forces. So now that we've defined what a couple is, we can say that two couples, that is, two two-force combinations, are equivalent to one another if they produce the same moment. By same moment, I mean both the magnitude and the direction have to be the same in order for the two couples to be equivalent. For example, this couple produces a moment of 200 newtons times 2 meters, or 400 newton meters, in the positive direction. This couple is an equivalent couple. Even though the magnitude of the forces are different, the distance between the forces compensates to get the same magnitude and direction, 400 newton meters in the positive direction. One thing to note is that if I have equivalent couples, they are going to have to lie in the same place or they're going to have to lie in parallel planes so that the rotation axes are oriented in the same direction.